Good morning, Saturday, July 10th, 2021. Baseball players, accomplishments, achievements, stats, career, Hall of Fame. Episode 18, Mickey Mantle. What a player. Switch hitter. Did you know that from the right side, probably hit about 250 homers, and from the left side, he hits another 280 home runs. How does a player, as a switch hitter, get 536 career home runs batting from both sides of the plate? That is a talent. Babe Ruth couldn't do that, I don't think. Henry Aaron couldn't do that. Lou Gehrig, Jimmy Fox, some of these sluggers. But Mickey Mano is unique in the fact he could club a 500-foot home run left-handed and then in the same game hit a 500-foot home run right-handed. Let's go over the career of Mickey Mantle. Plays for the New York Yankees his entire career, 18 years. Comes in 1951, goes till 1968. I like Mickey Mantle. Comes in 19 years old, 1951. They give him 96 games. 91 hits, 13 homers, bats 267. So he's a rookie. 1952, he's 20 years old. So they make him play almost every day. This is about 12 games. 626 at bats. So what can he do? 171 hits. 23 homers, 87 RBI, bats 311. So he's genuine. 1953, 21 years old, 127 games, 136 hits, 21 homers, 92 RBI, 295 average. So the first three years, he's just getting started, getting going. He's hit about, let's see... 36, he said about 50 homers in the first three years. 1954 season, misses only eight games. So what his stats will be in the 1954 season as a 22-year-old kid? 651 at bats, 163 hits, 27 homers, and goes 102 RBIs. So first season of over 100 RBIs. And bats 300 on the nose. 1955 season. His fifth year. 147 games. 638 at bats. What can Mickey Mantle do with that many at bats? 37 home runs. 99 RBIs. 306 batting average. He's starting to take off. 1956 season, 24 years old, prime, 150 games, okay, misses four. What can he do? 652 at bats, 188 hits, 52 home runs, 130 RBIs, 353 batting average. Best year. That's his best year. Again, 52 home runs, 130 RBI, 353. 1957, what does he do for an encore? 25 years old. This is 10 games, 623 at bats, 173 hits, 34 homers. So he's down 18 homers. Wonder why, 94 RBI, but he bats 365. So maybe he's focusing more on hitting. 365 batting average. That's his, that's his high. That's his highest batting average. But the year before, he hit 353 with 52 homers. You want the 50 homers and the 353 average, or do you want the 34 homers and a 365 average? I'll take 52 and 353. Okay, 1958 season, 26 years old, 150 games, 158 hits, 
42 home runs, 97 RBIs, 304 batting average. Good year. 1959, 27, 640 at bats, 31 homers, 75 RBIs. Down on the RBIs. He's only had two 100 RBI seasons, but bat and bats two 285. That's a down year for the Mickey Mantle. 1960, 28 years old. Plays every day. 40 homers, 94 RBIs, 275 average. His average is down from a high of 365 and 353. Maybe he's going more for the homers. 40 homers that year. You want the more homers or the better batting average? I want the uh, better batting average. 1961, 29 years old, plays every day. Listen to this year. 1961, 646 at bats, 163 hits, 54 home runs. This is the year that Roger Maris hit 61 homers. So the Mick was with him during that year. So he hits 54. 128 RBIs, 317 batting average. So 1961 is as high in home runs, but the batting average is 317. 1962 comes back, misses 30 games though, but still hits 30 homers, 89 RBI, 321 batting average. I like his average that year. 1963 season, he's 31 years old, only 65 games. He misses 100 games. Clubs 15 homers, 35 RBI, 314. So that's a down year for Mickey Mantle. Comes back in 64 season, 32 years old. Misses about 12, let's see, 20 games. Clubs 35 homers, 111 RBIs. Okay, 303 batting average. 1965, 33 years old. Misses 30, 40 games. 19 homers, 46 RBI. Not very good on the RBI. 2, 255. He's starting to wane a little bit, Mickey Mantle. He's only 33, though. They say he hurt his knee in the outfield, and so it affected his play. Hmm. Only 19 home runs in 1965. He only missed 40 games. He should have had about 40 that year. 1966, 34 years old, misses 60 games. 23 homers, 56 RBI, 288. 1967, he's 35 years old. 144 games. Okay, so he only misses 20 games. 18 games. 22 homers, though. Plays 144 games and only hits 20 homers. He's off a little bit. 55 RBI, 245 average. And 1968 season, he's 36. He said this is his last year. It's too bad. If he had played to 40, he would have better stats. But he plays 144 games in his last year. Only hits 18 homers, 54 RBI, 237 average. So Mickey Mano hangs it up at age 36. We do know Pete Rose hanging it up at 45, Ty Cobb 42, Babe Ruth 40. I just wish Mickey would have played another four years and not missed that one 1963 season where he only played 65 games. He would have had more stats, plays in 2,400 games, 9,900 at bats, 2,415 hits. 536 homers in 18 years. We could say 17 and a half years, 536 homers. Very good. If he had played another four years, he would have been about 650 homers. 1,509 RBIs. Again, four more years. He should have had more 100 RBI seasons. He only had four. How many times did he bat over 300? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 
10, 10 times over 300 in 18 years. He had a high of 365 and 353. He had a high in home runs of 54 and 52, hit 42 another time. So he was a slugger and had a good average going for a while there. 4,500 total bases. Here's the thing, stat I don't like about Mickey Mantle. 298 lifetime batting average. Should have played one more year and get that average over 300 career. Didn't do it. But all in all, I like Mickey Mano, especially his power from both sides of the plate. Good, good, solid player. Struck out too much, though. 1,700 strikeouts. But I'm not going to say negative things about players. I want to focus on their positive stats. Okay, that's Mickey Mano. Who do I got next in my countdown of baseball players? accomplishments. How about George Sisler? Okay. Old school player. Thanks for watching. I'm out.